Yes, hello, and welcome back for a new lesson. In this session, we will have a look on the high-pass filter, a very simple circuit that is widely used in electronics by professionals. You can also see my other video about low-pass filters that is also available in my channel. As indicated by its name, the high-pass RC filter lets pass only the signals under high frequencies and blocks the low frequencies. It consists on a resistor and a capacitor, as described by this simple circuit. The way these two components are placed defines the type of the filter. For high-pass filter, the resistor is placed on the output. Here we have two impedances, the resistor impedance and the capacitor impedance. The particularity here is that the capacitor impedance depends on the frequency as represented by this equation. The impedance of the capacitor will decrease when the frequency increases. In this case, the output voltage will decrease when the frequency increases, and this is how the circuit is filtering the low frequency signals. So how do you size this circuit? The key parameter of this filter is called the cutoff frequency. This parameter will allow you to select the values of the resistor and the capacitor of your circuit. In this example, the cutoff frequency is 99.5 kHz, approximately. Let's simulate this circuit on LT Spice. After drawing the circuit, you will need to configure the supply voltage. In this case, we need an alternating voltage source. Right, click and enter 1 volt, for example, and press OK. In this simulation, we want to check the frequency response of the filter. You will need to go to Simulate. Then, you press Configure Analysis and select AC Analysis. Select Decade and let's consider 1,000 points per decade. Remember, in our circuit, the cutoff frequency is 99.5 kHz. Let's start the AC sweep from 1 Hz and finish by 100 MHz. This means the simulation tool will increase the frequency from 1 Hz by decades until 100 MHz. Now we can launch the simulation and show the frequency response by clicking on the output voltage. What we are seeing in this graph is the gain and the phase shift curves. Now let's highlight our cutoff frequency using the cursor that you can show by right-clicking on the plot window. On the gain curve, the cutoff frequency is always situated at 3 decibels, and on the phase shift curve, it is situated at 45 degrees. On the right side, we have the high frequencies where the Bode curve is almost flat, and on the left side, where the circuit filters the low frequencies, the Bode curve is going down. At the point of the cutoff frequency, the attenuation is at 70% approximately. Now, let's have a look on the output voltage versus the frequency. Here I calculated the output voltage under different frequencies. The output voltage increases to its maximum value when the frequency exceeds the cutoff frequency, and this is the job done by this wonderful circuit. You can also perform a transient analysis and play with the frequency to see how the output signal is attenuated. In this case, you should select sine waveform, enter an input voltage, 1 volt for example. We know that our cutoff frequency is around 100 kHz, so let's check a very lower frequency like 1000 Hz. As you can see, the output voltage is almost 0 volt. Here, the filter is blocking the low frequencies. Now let's increase the frequency of the signal to be higher than the cutoff frequency something like 500 kilohertz. As you can see, the signal has not been attenuated. Its value is almost the same than the input signal, which equals 1 volt. Great! Now we can say we are under the same frequency. If you enjoyed this video, please leave like and subscribe and have a look on my other videos. See you soon!